gathered at the World War II Museum to honor 10 living D-Day veterans and remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice that day. And they included a 100-year-old Cajun and a former infantryman who was vital to the Allied cause during the invasion. Ramasan shares his story. It is a procession that grows smaller every year, but the appreciation for their sacrifice hasn't faded. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, we call these men and women among us today the greatest generation. 80 years ago today, 10,000 Allied servicemen stormed the beaches of Normandy to establish a foothold in Europe on a day that would become known as D-Day. You can look into the eyes of these young men on their Higgins boats, you know, their landing craft as they sail toward Omaha Beach. And now you see a lot of things there. You certainly see fear, you see uncertainty, but you also see a certain steely determination. Hundreds turned out at the World War II Museum to commemorate 10 veterans, all around 100 years old, who participated in the D-Day landing, fighting against Hitler's Atlantic Wall, marking what was called the beginning of the end of World War II. We had shells all around them but um, no one was hit. U.S. Navy veteran Tolly Fletcher of Denham Springs was in a sub chaser, escorting troops landing on four main beaches covering 50 miles of the Normandy coast. As we got closer, we could already see bodies floating in the water. Nearly 4,400 American servicemen died on this day 80 years ago as the Allies invaded the beaches of Normandy, but many say they saved countless thousands other lives. The D-Day landing among Jewish lives alone saved roughly 100 50,000 souls. Though only 10 veterans were able to attend this 80th anniversary, the memories of those who died that day or passed away recently are still held dear, both here and in France, which was liberated 43 days after the invasion. My lieutenant, my lieutenant said, well, where were you? He said, we've been looking for you. And I said, well, why, why would you be looking for me? He said, you going home. It, it was a, it was a good news. <laughs> 100 year old Norris Morvan of Thibodeau was recruited to use his Cajun French to interpret for Supreme Allied Commander Ike Eisenhower while stationed in France. I was uh, one of the people that uh, used to translate and also uh, bring orders to different units you know, on the front. Morvan, who Eisenhower called Frenchy was part of an unparalleled effort to beat the Germans and take back a continent in an unprecedented attack still appreciated to this day. That is why we are eternally grateful to the United States of America. And that sacrifice in an unprecedented war effort is forever honored at the National World War II Museum. Rob Manson, Fox 8 Local First.